Hey, so we've got a few days left till the contest. And earlier last week or so, the MAA released a statement about the security measures they are taking in order to protect the contest this year. We'll get to that in just a moment. I think they're pretty good. In the meantime, though, before that, this is a quick announcement about my final small notebook class this Sunday. It is not a free class. This is what I do for a living. I teach AMC full-time, above full, full-time. That is my career. Uh, the last class, if you don't know what this is, it's me going over all of my notes in the last 10 to 15 years of key concepts and ideas that are on the contest that will help you get an edge as far as speed and response time goes to various stimuli on the contest. Um, it is typically not your normal average concepts you can find anywhere, but ones that are a little bit harder to find and understand their application of. Uh, so you can expect that to be this Sunday is the last class. Um, and there's also going to be one more video to come out on Tuesday. My final last day advice video, which is a tradition on this channel, will be coming out as well. Briefly, you can see a comment here that a parent left last year for the class. It was only a three hour class. Then freeze the video and check it out. I've gone over this in depth in the past. If you'd like to be a part of the class, reach out by my website. It will be in the description. Again, the class is not free. I apologize. This is what I do for a living. Uh, let's go ahead and get a look at the MAA statement now. So security measures for the 2024-25 MAA AMC. What can the community, community can expect this cycle? The MAA is committed to preserving the integrity of the AMC program. Thank you. Glad to hear that. After reviewing all available evidence surrounding last cycle's leaks, and listening to community input, we have decided to implement the following enhanced security measures that will update competition administration procedures. Uh, the release window for the AMC 8, 10, and 12 competition booklets will be shortened from five business days to one business day. So that means only 24 hours of access uh, for those who are going to be printing their test out. Um, by the way, you should highly recommend that your competition manager prints them out and not does an online test. There's been disconnections, the internet goes out. It's very not great. Um, find a way for them to print it. All testing facilities, as far as I know, should have the ability to do so. And you wanna make sure that you follow up with them that they're going to print it out because it's much easier to write on a test than have to redraw every diagram. Um, it's, you're, you're definitely not getting a fair play against people who get the test printed out if they're not printing it out at your location. Um, I assume every location can. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some that can't, but I've never really heard of that. It seems not logical to me. Um, so the release window shortened to one day, less chance for it to get leaked. Okay. Um, for those sites that have purchased 10 or more bu bundles, each have 100 or more booklets to print, um, for a single competition day, you may complete this form, which I can't click because this is a screenshot uh, by October 30th, which is already passed, to apply for earlier access, which is two business days. Now, you would think these would be big time locations with lots and lots of students who take it. They're probably pretty well vetted and, uh, you know, pretty much uh, a lot more legitimate locations, I would assume, I would think. OK, so upon approval of your request, you will receive a link to a password protected file on a platform that will track load down track download activity. OK, so I have no idea what the tracking download activity will offer them as far as security, but good to know only one day for the majority of testing centers that will make it a lot harder to leak it earlier and, and do what they did with it last year. Um, tip individual student answer sheets will continue to be available to print as soon as students have registered and been approved in your dashboard. We recommend printing these early so that you can have less to print when booklets are released. So let's go and look at the next page of this. Um, it does say, in addition uh, to banning phone use during the competition, we now ask that competition managers also collect all phones, smartwatches, and similar devices from all participants before the competition begins. Why wasn't that done in the past? I don't know. Uh, they asked the competition managers to do this. Will all of them do it? I don't know. You can remind yours to do so if you are concerned with that being an element of use for cheating. They've also created a new dedicated email address for reporting any suspicious activity or evidence of cheating. Again, I cannot click this email. 
Um, it's a, it's not the actual email here. You'd have to click the, the blue one on the original link. Now, I believe all competition managers were sent this email, which is how I got access. A friend of mine shared it with me, and I just took some screenshots of it to show you what the MAA is doing to protect the contest this year. I think this is great. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Watch the last advice video, and I will see you in the next one.